Hey everyone, Cynix here. Try not to blow any of your fingers off this week because these are the monthly inspirations for July 2014. For this month, I'm going to feature two amazing female artists. And the first one is going to be the incredible and magical Mary Blair. Now, I would personally say that Mary Blair is probably one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Uh, she started out simply enough as a watercolor painter, but it didn't take long for her to find her style with really vibrant colors and super cutesy flat characters. And it really made her get noticed and she eventually went on to become a key figure at Disney. And it's really her look and feel that helped define movies like Cinderella and Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland, so a few of my favorites. And I would say that one of her greatest landmarks is definitely the Small World ride at Disneyland, which is basically a shrine to her art, so I absolutely love that. And she's had so much influence on all the shows that we might have grown up with as kids, especially Powerpuff Girls and everything in that vein has a lot to do with Mary Blair. So even if you weren't consciously aware of her work, I'm sure it's definitely impacted you in some way. The next artist I want to share with you guys is Saskia Gutekunst. And hopefully I didn't butcher her name too bad, but she was recommended to me by Sykra, so thank you Sykra. Saskia is a artist and freelance illustrator. She's done some work on the World of Warcraft card games as well as other card art. And all around, I would just say that she is amazing at telling stories with her art. Much in the same way that I love Sergei Kolosov, I love her art too because it definitely has stories just dripping out of every piece and you always want to know more about what's going on in each of the artworks. So she also has an amazing sense of color, so bonus points for that. And her work is just stunning to look at. So she does a lot of fantasy work and if you're not into fantasy, maybe you will be after you look at her art. But her art does a good job at transporting you to another, more whimsical world. Hopefully you guys will enjoy checking out her blog as well. It is at coyotesaskia.blogspot and there will be a link in the description below. So I think that's going to be it for our two main artist inspirations for July. But I would like to do a bonus inspiration. And this month, it's going to be the anime Kill la Kill. This show is actually available on Netflix streaming if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I personally was a big fan of Gurren Lagann. And this show captures that same sense of style and humor and just kind of, I don't know, wackiness that I loved about that show. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're into anime-ish stuff or just if you're into animation or good art. So I think you guys will enjoy that. But then again, if you're into anime, I'm sure you've already heard of it because it's one of the popular animes of the last year. Uh, so anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for your monthly inspirations. But I did do something a little fun this month. I thought it would be cool to combine some of these inspirations. So I did some Kill la Kill fan art in the style of Mary Blair, or at least to the best of my abilities. And I made a little 3DS version of this image as well. So now's the time where you can whip out your 3DSs and scan the little QR code. Thanks for watching everyone!